Good evening, everyone. I'm Dominus Horbus, and tonight I will be doing Packet Tracer 7.2.2.4 Troubleshooting GRE Generic Routing Encapsulation. Now, there's pretty much four steps here. First, you need to create a tunnel interface using the interface tunnel plus a number command. Step two is you're going to specify the tunnel source IP, which will be the physical address of the serial 000 in our example here. Step three, specify the tunnel destination IP, which is the serial physical interface on the remote router, the other end of the tunnel. And step four, configure an IP address for the tunnel interface. And that's going to be the logical IP, not the physical. The scenario is that a junior network administrator has configured GRE halfway through. He or she was furloughed and didn't get a chance to finish. So all these errors that we're going to find are that person's fault. Let's go step by step. Router A. Let's just dig into the show run. First of all, the tunnel IP is incorrect. The destination looks good. Actually, it looks like gigabit zero zero in the tunnel IP address. 172.31.01.192.68.11 have been reversed. So we need to switch that one out with this one. Okay, that's the first error. This route right here is incorrect as well. We're routing traffic to the 172.31.1.0 network, which is router B's land right here, right? Not to the physical interface of router B, but rather the logical address of the tunnel. So it needs to be that 192.168.1.2. And that's why on router B, we're getting this recursive routing error. But we'll get to router B in a second. I think that tunnels uh, slash 30, yeah, in fact it is. And this tunnel line protocol went up.
See, that was 80 points right there. Just to retrace my steps. What did we actually do? We started off with gigabit zero zero interface and gigabit tunnel zero. Deleted those IPs because they were crisscrossed. Reassigned them to the correct interface. Took out that incorrect IP route. Because it has routing the traffic to the next hop physical IP address, but we need the logical of the tunnel, not the physical hardware. So corrected that, and looks good. Let's move on to router B. The source is incorrect. The source needs to be serial zero zero zero. That's the first problem. That might be the only problem. I don't see anything else. All right, let's just try it. Okay, I found the error. The source was wrong, that's fine. But the destination is not the logical IP of the tunnel, but rather the physical IP of the serial interface on the remote end. In other words, for router B, this guy. All right, let's do that. Are we in tunnel zero? Yeah. Okay, that's our 100% there. Ping the IP address of PCA from PCB. All right, we can do that.
Of course it's going to get through. All right. I think it says something about trace route. So from PCA to PCB, it goes this gigabit interface of router A first, then straight through the tunnel, over the internet, mind you, all the way to the tunnel remote IP interface, 1.2, straight back into the PCB. So basically all these people on the internet are unable to see the traffic. So once again, my name is Dominus Orbis and I hope this video has been informative and I want to thank you for viewing.